the largest man-made island in the South China Sea, more than five times the size of Japan, has only been allowed to enter by the Chinese. So which island is this? How is it going now? Let's take a closer look in this video. There are more than 230 islands, reefs and dark beaches in China's Nansha Islands, but there are only six natural islands with an area of more than 0.1 square kilometers, and five of them have been occupied by Vietnam and the Philippines. But China has reversed the extremely passive situation by reclamation. Compared with the Nansha Islands, although the total number of islands and reefs in the Shisha Islands is only more than 40, the number and area of large islands in the Shisha Islands are far larger than those in the Nansha Islands. The Shisha Islands have a total of 22 islands and 7 sandbars. In addition to the many islands, Shisha also has many giant atolls. If these atolls were located in Nansha, any one of them could build a large harbor city. For example, the largest Huaguang Reef is 31 kilometers long from east to west and covers an area of 180 square kilometers, nearly three times the size of Baijiao Reef in the Nansha Islands. It is the largest single independent atoll among the Shisha Islands, Nansha Islands, and Zhongsha Islands. In addition, there are huge atolls such as Yuzhua Reef, Beijiao, and Langhua Reef in the Shisha Islands. The conditions of the islands and reefs of the Shisha Islands are so superior that they can be used as a transit base to help China develop the Nansha Islands. How is the development status of the Shisha Islands? Sansha City, officially inaugurated on July 24, 2012, is the prefecture-level city with the southernmost location, the largest area, the smallest land area and the smallest population in China. It consists of more than 280 islands, sandbars, hidden reefs, dark sand and hidden reef beaches and their sea areas. The municipal people's government is located in Yongxing Island, Shisha District and has jurisdiction over the islands and reefs of the Shisha Islands, Zhongsha Islands, and Nansha Islands and their sea areas. The land area is more than 20 square kilometers, and the land and sea area is about 2 million square kilometers. Since Sansha was established as a city, the Shisha Islands have undergone earth-shaking changes. But generally speaking, since the Shisha Islands are closer to the Chinese mainland and all are actually controlled by China, the development is not so urgent. At present, ecological protection is still the main theme, and large-scale construction is mainly concentrated on Yongxing Island, Chenhang Island, and Zhongjian Island. In fact, the coral reefs in the South China Sea would also be a valuable asset if they were not forced to reclaim land from the sea. There are few coral reefs in the Shisha Islands, which are the life of the Shisha Islands. If these reefs are turned into artificial islands, the Shisha Islands will lose their aura, so protection is basically the main priority. What China is doing now is to protect the distinctive islands and coral reefs such as Nanchuzhu, Gongquan Island and Dongdao with dense vegetation. These islands and reefs not only have not been deforested for development, but have also been planted on a large scale, increasing the forest coverage rate of the islands and reefs to more than 90%. The islands and reefs that were destroyed due to overdevelopment before have been ecologically restored after Sansha was established as a city. The most typical one is Zhao Shudao. Due to a large number of fishermen fishing here, many fishermen cut down trees on the island as firewood in the absence of infrastructure, which caused great damage to the ecological environment of the island. When Sansha was established as a city, Zhaoshu Island was already full of rubbish and the stench was overwhelming. 
The environment has deteriorated to the point where it is basically unsuitable for human survival. In order to restore the ecology of the island and the reef, the garbage that people cleared out on the island can hold 50 carts. After intensive construction, Zhaoshu Island has now become a model for the construction of the Shisha Islands. The most local tyrant, modern fishing village in the South China Sea has been built on the island, and more than 500 coconut trees and a large number of other tree species have been transplanted from Hainan Island to Zhaoshu Island, further improving the ecosystem of the island and reef. People standing on the observation deck can only see the scenery full of verdant trees and trees. Sancha City has successively planted more than 100,000 trees on Zishazu, which has made the green area of Zishazu reach 90%. Zishazu, which was once barren of grass, has become a lush sea oasis. But there is not even a modern building built on the sandbar. It can be seen that the construction idea of the Shisha Islands is to only engage in large-scale protection and not to engage in large-scale development. Of course, the archipelago is not completely devoid of development and construction, and several islands and reefs with important military value have been built very beautifully. Yongxing Island, as the capital of Sansha, expanded its area from 2.13 square kilometers to 3.16 square kilometers after it was established as a city which is equivalent to the area of two new Nansha Taiping Islands. This is invaluable in the South China Sea where land resources are scarce. A large number of modern infrastructures have been built on the island, which is more and more like a modern city. The great changes in Yongxing Island are not just the improvement of infrastructure. The biggest change is that the area of Yongxing Island has also expanded on a large scale after repeated land reclamation. A large number of modern facilities have sprung up on the newly built land, and the airport runway has also been lengthened to more than 3,000 meters, further strengthening the strategic position of Yongxing Island. A small island of 3.16 square kilometers concentrates all urban infrastructure such as airports, ports, military camps, schools, hospitals, weather stations, and seawater desalination plants. What is even more surprising is that Yongxing Island also operates driverless buses that are not available in many major cities in the mainland. Its cinemas are screening various blockbusters simultaneously with cinemas in mainland China. Free shared bicycles are everywhere in densely populated places such as airports, government office buildings, and Yongxing schools. It is hard to imagine that this is a small island hanging overseas. The Yongla Atoll in the Shisha Islands has great strategic value and development prospects. 13 of the 22 islands in the Shisha Islands are distributed on Yongla Atoll, but Yongla Atoll lacks high-quality ports. The most suitable island for building a large port is Chenhang Island in the southern part of the atoll. Chenhang Island is an important transportation hub among the various islands of the Shisha Islands. It is the best-built island of the Shisha Islands besides Yongxing Island. It has become a relay station for rescue and rapid transfer of materials in the Shisha Islands. After Sansha was established as a city, it merged with the nearby Guangjin Island into a large island through continuous land reclamation, and its area also increased from 0.28 square kilometers to 0.8 square kilometers, making it the fourth largest island in the Shisha Islands. Today's Chenhang Island is a well-known military port city in the Shisha Islands. There are row upon row of modern buildings on the island, including both military facilities and civilian facilities. Together with the nearby Jinqing Island, it looks like a modern city group floating on the sea. 
Among the changes in the islands and reefs of the Shisha Islands, the most exciting one is Zhongjian Island. The island is the best base for monitoring Vietnam in the Shisha Archipelago. It is only 330 kilometers away from Da Nang, Vietnam, which is known as the Oriental Hawaii, and has an area of 1.2 square kilometers to build a large base. Under the circumstances that Vietnam has tried its best to provoke China to build large-scale islands, building Zhongjian Island into a large military base is a very powerful response. What's even more rare is that the reef area of Zhongjian Island is 7.5 square kilometers, and an island larger than Yongxing Island can be built. The construction of Zhongjian Island is extremely difficult. Due to the extremely harsh conditions on the islands and reefs, it took decades of hard work by the officers and soldiers stationed on the islands to successfully complete the greening of a small number of islands and reefs. A modern camp is being built on Zhongjian Island, and a modern new city is rising at the forefront of the Shisha Islands. Yongxing Island is the capital of Sansha, Zhongjian Island is an important military location, and Chenhang Island is a transit port. The construction of these three islands will be accelerated, but it is not enough for Shisha to have these three islands, because the area of the three islands is not large enough, and Shisha needs to concentrate its efforts on building a larger island. As for the atolls, there is almost zero development and construction. If developed, which atolls in Shisha are the most valuable? Geographically speaking, Yuzhua Reef is the true center of the Shisha Islands. A large area of land can be built in the eastern part of the reef, and a large deep water port can be built in the western part. However, the military value of Yuzhua Reef is not high, and the deep water port does not have much benefit. The strategy of protecting the atoll is absolutely correct. But it is a pity that there has been no achievements in Spray Reef so far. Because in terms of value, the Langhua Reef located on the south side of the Shisha Islands has the most special status. It can be used as a transit base for the islands and reefs of the Nansha Islands to the south, to support the construction and rights protection of Huangyan Island to the east, and to support the operations of Zhongjian Island to the west. More importantly, the Langhua Reef covers an area of more than 70 square kilometers, and the reef flat can build more than 30 square kilometers of land, and the reef flat has sandbars that are easy to develop. If China concentrates its efforts on building a modern city on Langhua Reef, most of the other Shisha islands and reefs will be protected and developed for tourism and it can also support the construction of Nansha, which can be said to serve multiple purposes. It is these modern and original Shisha islands and reefs that constitute a prosperous modern island group. How can people not love such Shisha islands? With the continuous acceleration of the modernization of the Shisha islands, the Shisha islands will play a greater role in China's maritime security. In fact, the strategic value of the Shisha Islands is far from that. The Shisha Islands are the only way for maritime communications between China and Southeast Asian countries, as well as the maritime throats leading to Africa, Europe and Oceania, and play an important role in politics, military affairs and economy. With the Shisha Islands, China will be able to vigorously develop the Nansha Islands with Hainan Island as its base camp and Yongxing Island and Zhongjian Island, and other Shisha Islands and reefs as its forward base. From this point of view, the Shisha Islands are more than China's Maldives. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.